you can't block. It's just attack and summon and skills. Okay, no problem. As long as we could take it out fast. I read online that if you visit the lake after midnight and stare into the water, your true love appears in the water surface. So you were hoping to find your soulmate in the lake? No, 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 not, not at all. I was just there for purely scientific purposes. Yeah, that's what they all say, Akka. That's what they all scientific purposes. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Stop it. All I ever did was love you. Holy shit. Bro, just keep going. Just keep going. We need to build up our MP right now. Oh god. Just keep going. She can't she can't kill me, right? With the Holy fuck. Okay. Alright, introductions. YouTube, what's up? I'm Club Gothica. AKA Jeremiah X. Man, we're playing an indie game called Pinku Colt Hex Mortis. Um, I got recommended to play this game about a year or two ago. And I bought it right away too, because it looks sick. Um, so we're finally about to play this. Let's do this. Okay, um... What are we gonna do? Are we gonna do just... You know what, let's just, let's just go all in. Let's do Club Gothica. I think I could, I could fit in here, let's see. Yeah. What am I doing? Okay. Let's do it. This has the chain on the, on the skirt though. You see over to the left near my hand. That's pretty hard. All right, we're going with this. Let's do this. Yep. Okay, I'm multitasking. I'm, I need to host this um, this Twitter post. Let people know I'm live. But I'm gonna I'm gonna multitask. I got you guys. Uh, Razor City is a desolate city, and if you were to pull. Any of its inhabitants aside, most couldn't tell you how they ended up here. Uh, some were looking for fame and glory, while others were simply looking for greener, if uh, slightly fluorescent pa pastures. Despite living in a city for almost two years, there's, a, there's so little of it I'm actually familiar with. It's almost as if I've spent the last few years swept up in one collective dream. Okay. This, this tweet could wait. Hold on, let me finish this. Um, okay. Investigator wanted, no experience. Okay. One, uh, wanted to investigate missing persons. Okay, so we're, we're in a job that's kind of... Oh, we're looking for missing people, so we're kind of... Okay. It's not no regular job, right? Yo, April, what's up? Yeah, I like the outfit too, man. Very vamped out. Uh, it's been a tough few months. Jobs are hard to come by. And money is getting tighter by the day. After weeks of searching uh, and applications going nowhere, I'd almost given up. Although, one evening when scanning through wanted ads online, I see the following advert. Investigator wanted to investigate missing persons and track suspicious individuals. Contact Anel. It's incredibly vague, and the use of the word extermination is alarming, to say the least. Still, I find myself firing off an application before I've even really let the implications of, of what this job might entail sink in. Yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you don't just jump into a, a job like that, especially with what's said up there. Like, it's pretty sketchy. Um, yeah. Um, weirder still, I receive a reply almost instantly. Okay, yeah, that's sketchy. Thank you for your application. We will await your arrival tomorrow at the Morning Star Building, room J200 at 12 
H00. Congratulations, uh, Shokan Corp. I, I mean, it's a nice building. I'll tell you that. Uh, the next day, I make my way to the imposing Morningstar building. Once inside, a receptionist is quick to greet me and guide me to their lift. I select floor J amongst the mass of buttons as instructed, and suddenly the lift plunges into darkness. A violent mechanical wiring uh, suddenly picks up and the lift screeches into action. Floors seem to endlessly flash by, but I can't even discern whether I'm going up or down. Yeah, no, I don't, f I don't even fuck with elevators, to be honest. So I, I wouldn't, no, this wouldn't be okay with me. Um, as it begins to feel as if the lift will fire off its tracks, it comes uh, careering to a halt. The lights flicker back on and the doors open with a polite ping. The corridor ahead is dark and gray, a complete 180 of the building's, um, okay, entrance. Uh, there is only one door before me and there is nowhere else to turn. A small plaque reading J200 is crookedly attached to it. With hesitation, I open the door to find another dark room. A singular chair sits in the middle with hanging lights swinging above. The instant I sit down, the hanging light turns off, hurling the room into pure darkness. Before I can react, an old TV screen flashes and oh, a CRT, like one of those really old fucking TVs, no way, um, flashes into light. Hey, she looks cool. Is that a Nell? Is this a Nell? The picture is bad and frequently flickering into static, but I can just about make out a humanoid form. She quickly introduces herself as a Nell. Yeah, this is her. And congratulates me on the success, the successful application. Apparently, I was the only one they deemed appropriate for the job. She explains that something odd is happening in Razor City. Whilst missing per uh, persons and mysterious deaths aren't unheard of, they have been increasing with alarming rates. Shokan Corp believe something more sinister is afoot. Okay. Is that like a... It's like a Kitsune uh, Max, right? A Japanese Kitsune Max, I'm pretty sure. They have suspicious. Hey, they have suspicions that a mysterious girl seen around the city wearing a fox max is the cause. Um, however, they haven't been able to get close enough to find out what she's up to or how she's involved. Anel explains they need someone expendable, a nobody, me, to investigate these occurrences and get close to the mysterious girl. Damn, bro, they're calling me a nobody already. We just met, man. Um, she explains Shogun, Shokan Corp uh, will offer handsome rewards for each successful case solved. She stresses, I will not be working as an employee of the Corp, and therefore they take no responsibility for my actions, and no responsibilities for any unfortunate, anything unfortunate that might occur. Damn. Okay, so we're the middle, Max. Yet, yeah, as a re representative... For the prestigious company, I must adhere to their strict uniform code. I am to partake in their odd practice of donning their employees in bizarre maxes. Anel stresses how vital it is that the company maintains face and offers a choice of three maxes. Uh, with a smirk, she doesn't allow any chance to back out of the agreement or raise any questions. She knows I haven't got any other options, and she also knows I'm already one week late on rent. Bro, how the hell does she know all this shit? Isn't this sketchy? Like, what do you, like, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Um, yeah, I don't know about this job, guys. I don't know. Uh, uneased by her ability to know a little bit too much, I, quite, I quietly agree to take on this first case. Bro, she got me, man. Does she have a blindfold on? Like, I don't know. I don't know. She looks cool, though. I'll give her that. Anel smiles a wicked grin, and I 
not to see it again. She explains that my first task is to find out what is causing people to disappear in the city. So far, there have been five disappearances with perhaps up to six if her intel is correct. She suggests I start by questioning the citizens of the city and see where it takes me. Uh, should someone or something be responsible, Anel states she wishes it to be taken care of in a permanent manner. Permanent manner. Okay, so does she want me to go out and just, like, kill things? Like, what is going on? Um, without giving me any chance to ask further questions, she bids me good luck, and the TV shuts off with a dull pop. Taking the hint not wanting to hang around in this bizarre place any longer, I grab my new uniform and head home. Chapter 1. The Red Web of Fate. Okay. All right. Okay, we look cool. We look cool. Do I want to go with the darker hair? Let's see how the darker hair looks. Let's see how the darker hair looks. Um Let me see this. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty hard. That's pretty hard. Okay. Okay. I whoa, I like the art style, man. It's like a picture it's like fucking Paper Mario, but it's not Paper Mario. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty cool. Okay, we could... Wait, the chair moves around? Okay, let me stop. Um, check computer. Current headline. 10th anniversary of Razor City. High tragedy. Uh, Shokan Corp pays tribute. Okay, so they're talking about my, uh, my, my new job. That's cool. Okay, those are the only things we could interact with. We can go to sleep. Wait until nightfall. We're not going to do that yet, I don't think. Um, okay, inventory. We got some money. We got 50 gold. Nice. Okay, we got a health potion. Nice. What's this? Another health potion. And a revive a fallen party member. Okay, so we're going to get party members. Okay, like most residents of the cities, you can't exactly remember how you got here or the exact reason why, but something strange seems to have called to you. Perhaps it was always your destiny to find yourself in this bizarre and dangerous city. Okay, so I'm one of those main characters. I got it. And there's nothing in my journal right now, so we can keep going. Give me a sec, guys, okay? I need to... I need to tweet this real quick, but it will be fast. It will be very fast. We're good. Let's do this. Uh, so my first task for Manel, uh, find out what is causing these people to go missing and how that relates to this girl in the Fox Max. True. Uh, there's certainly something utter, uh, unsettling going on here, but I guess I'm in too deep to back out now. Uh, let's start by speaking to people on High Street. Razor City citizens love to gossip, especially if it involves misfortune. But yeah, I, I bet. Okay. Wow, this is the map view. This is sick. So we can go to different locations like this. This is dope. Okay, so that's my apartment. Let's go to High Street. Multitasking. Yeah, I'm starting to get worse at it, honestly. I thought I was, uh... Well, I used to be really good at it. Okay, who, who's this? Okay, so this is me talking. Uh, hello, this may sound odd, but have you heard anything about the disappearances that have happened recently? Okay, her name's Jade. Uh, it's not as odd as your appearance. Damn, bro. Okay. But stuff like this happens all the time. It's too hard to keep track. This is Razor City, after all. Yeah, that's, uh, not... Okay, fine. That didn't really help out, but... Okay, some more health potions. Hey! Yo! Uh, disappearances. Well, yes. My work colleague, Nor, just up and vanished about a month ago. 
Uh, she was always a bit aloof, but I didn't think she'd just leave without saying anything. Okay, and here, here are my choices over here. Uh, did she mention anything before her disappearance? Or I could say, did anything strange happen before the vanish? Before she vanished? Um, did she mention anything before her disappearance? Let's do this. Let's see if she mentioned anything. Well, now you mention it. Nora had been talking non-stop about this urban legend. Oh, what was it? Something to do with At Atria Lake, I think. Uh, I'm afraid I don't remember much, but she did seem to be visiting there an awful lot. If you find her, or find out where she might have ended up, please let me know. I just want to know that she's okay. I'll do my best. Thank you for your help. Yeah, that was a lot of help. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, uh, near a lake. At Tria Lake. Alright, what's up? Yo, peeped his turtleneck, man. See, me, though, I would have wore the black turtleneck. I don't know about the red. But. Uh, okay. Well, it doesn't seem so joyful recently, but never mind. Wait, what? The joys of the city. Okay, so then why did you say the joys of the city then, bro? Uh, that's the world map. What can we do over here? Oh, we can go in here? Okay. Yo, this is not... And now, no, that's not an L. This is someone else, Shiro. Ah, welcome, welcome. You must be Club Gothica, right? That's right. How did you know who I am? Anel informed me of your recent employment with Shokan, and it is hard to mistake such a uniform. My name is Shiro. It is a pleasure to be of your service. I've been instructed by Anel to assist you in the way of any equipment needed to carry out your investigation. That's great, thank you. It's my pleasure. Okay. So this is where we're buying our stuff. Should we start buying stuff now? I don't know how hard the game's gonna be in the beginning. Um, hmm. We have 50 bucks, right? Cover all MP. Let's just buy one of these. Damn. Okay, cool. Oh, and we could change our clothes here too. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's closed. Okay, let's get out of here. phone let me take it off vibrate real quick okay we're good um atria lake has always felt so gloomy and bleak i should look around for clues okay what does it say on here long live the cult with a k okay Smelling salts. What does that do again? Oh. Nice. Okay, I can revive people. Cool. Oh, yo, she looks cool. Yo, the fashion in this game is actually crazy. How come I can't dress like this? Like, I didn't really... Maybe you unlock more outfits and stuff as the game, like, progresses. Maybe. Oh, sorry, I was lost in thought. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a cool... That's a cool uh, style right there. Okay, we don't know her name, though. Yep, we don't know her name. Okay. Um, oh, there's a, there's a dude here. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you, but I've been looking into disappearances that happened recently. Have you noticed anything strange going on around here? There's always been... Uh, 
thing. Uh, there's always been odd things going on around the lake. Uh, legend has it, if you stare deep into the lake at night, your true love will reflect in the water's surface. Lots of young people think that's their first track to a happy and ever to a happy ever after. At night, you say? Do you think this has something to do with people disappearing? Um, who knows? I wouldn't be stupid enough to try. Things are not always what they seem, and the game of love is often a cruel one. Wow, that was deep. Thank you. What a strange person. Perhaps I should come back at night and see if there's any truth to this legend. Okay, so we gotta go to sleep and come back. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that was deep. I like that quote that he said. That was pretty cool. Okay, let's go. I should check out Lake Atria uh, whilst it's nightfall. Perhaps there might be some truth to the rumors about that place. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Whoa, it's like purple. Maybe the sky is purple here, this is sick. Okay, everyone's gone. Okay, who's this? Uh, hello? Oh, this is this artwork is sick. Look at this. As I step closer towards the water, the edge, I can see a young man bathed in the moonlight. He stares longingly into the dark and dreary uh, waters of Atria Lake. He seems completely transfixed by something below the water's surface. It almost looks like he might fall in. Hello? Can you hear me? You're very close to the edge. Oh shit. Whoa, look down there in the water. You see that reflection? What is that? I edge towards the man slowly. Uh, careful not to startle him. But as I get closer, I suddenly notice dozens and dozens, dozens of red spiders uh, crawling all over his body. You need to move. You're covered in spiders. Hmm, what? Uh, get them off. Get them off. We both try swiping the spiders off the young man's skin. I noticed a few still on him, but I just wanted to try and calm him down first. I think that's the last of them. Are you okay? I tried talking to you, but you didn't seem to hear me. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry. Who, who are you? I, I didn't even notice you were here. My name is Club Gothica. Who are you? I, oh, I'm Akka. What are you doing here, Akka? You almost fell into the lake. I don't quite remember. Everything seems so foggy. I think I was looking for something for someone. Have you heard about the legend surrounding the lake? Is that why you're here? I was told something strange can happen here at night. Sort of. It's a little more complicated than that. Wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? No. No, not leaving. Okay, did someone else just... Okay. Wait, what the fuck? Wow, Akka, are you alright? No, no, I'm not alright. I've been attacked by a ton of spiders and now I've been thrown down a hole. Where are we? What happened? I think something dragged us down here into this huge cave. I'm not sure this is a cave, it seems more like a nest. And it looks like the way we got dragged in from is locked. Locked, huh? I think you're right. Seems we got no other option but to go deeper 
and see if we can find another way out. I was worried you might say that. Okay. Alright, we got our party member, man. Uh, this is really locked. This is locked. Okay. Okay, nothing in there. What the? Okay. Of course there's spiders. It makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's do this. The sorrow spider. Okay, yeah, let's let's check out the, the regular attack. Let's let's keep doing that. Holy shit. Bro, y y that was a lot of health you took down. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try the skills. Twin slash, yes, kill him. Bro, we're so weak right now. Uh sacred soul. Bro, throw that shit on him. Holy shit, dude. You're kidding. Okay, so when we level up, do I get my... Yes, we got our health back. Okay, good. Holy shit, he almost one-hit me, man. A hand-drawn map. Look, someone drew a map of this place. So someone else has been down here. Can we just ignore the creepy, ominous scribbles on, on it for now? I'm fine with that. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Okay, so the map is at the top right. Very interesting style of the map. Okay. Um, should we go... Let's just go here first, since it's closer. Okay, combination. Okay. So, we're gonna have to look for numbers, guys. Oh. Can we run around this fucker? Let's see. Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay. Oh, fireball. What? Do that shit. Yeah, do that. 86 damage. That's good. Let's do the sacred salt again. Let's do it. Nice. Let's go. Okay, we're leveling pretty fast, which is nice. Is this a sewing room? Who feels the need to do art and crafts in a cave? Crew, I guess. Okay, 34. We got two numbers so far. Nice. Uh, there's a note written here. Three, four. Uh, the rest seems to be missing. I'll take it with me. Okay, just remember, guys. Three, four. Remember it. My memory is so bad, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest to remember that. Unless we could... Is it is it in here? Could we, like, go back and look at the numbers? Let me see. Yes. Thank God, man. Okay, 3-4 is the first two numbers. Okay, we already... There's nothing else over here? We're good? Okay. Cool little OST they got here. What the fuck is it? What is that? Is that it? That's an enemy? Can we walk around it? I feel like it's gonna kill me, bro. Hold on. Uh, you were right about this being more than the cave. Someone has a whole house down here. And look, even the table is set. I hope it's not for us. Yo, Akko really says the worst shit, guys. We're gonna just fight this thing. Um, fuck. We can't do our heavy attacks. Summon. Okay, we could summon something soon. Um, okay. Oh, doing our attacks, it ups our MP. Yeah, okay, it does up it. Uh, can I do something now? Nope. Okay, that wasn't too bad of damage. Let's just keep let's just keep doing this. Let's just keep doing this. We'll do this again and like one more time, right? Boom. Okay, we're 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 good here. You're kidding. It has a second phase. This is, is this is not a boss, right? Nice. Oh, wait a minute. Holy shit, look at the health. Hold on. Hold on. Um. 
um, um, um. I gotta, I gotta heal myself. Mad selfish, I know. Wait, he's a support role. Okay, so he could heal people too. Okay. Let's heal myself up. Let's let's heal Aka up. Um, and then we will do the fireball. Okay, that's not bad. Let's do that. Bro, how much health does this thing have? Oh, thank God, man. Holy shit. Level four, nice. Okay. There's a TV here. Seven. Okay, three, four, seven. I think that's it. But do I want to fight this spider, though? Nope, I don't. Three, four, seven. Let's 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 open up that door. Let's open up that door. Um, uh, okay. Wait. What did I just do? How many should lock? I I don't know the right number. Okay, let me try though. Should probably look for more information to come back to this. What? I thought don't we have the numbers? Three, four, seven. Okay, let me just kill this spider. Not leave. Nana says guess not leave. Okay. Um, I can't expect a spider to speak proper English. I can't, guys. Oh, shit. Not that fucking egg thing. Okay, you know what? I'll have my person focus on that egg down there. No, no. I'll have Akka do that, and I'll focus on this spider. Bro. Oh my god, okay. Um, we need to kill this egg. This egg is a problem. But this spider is more of a problem, I feel like. Okay. Focus on the egg, Akka. Okay. So far, so good. Shit. 14 HP. Yes, we got these. Okay, hit him twice. Nice. Okay. Okay, and now now we can just focus on this dude. We got him at the second phase already. Um, we're gonna have to heal up, but hold on. Okay. So before I actually die, I I stay at one HP. That's good to know. Let's just do this a few times. Let's do this again. And then let me actually heal up. Alright. It should die after these, these attacks. It should die here. What the fuck? It should die right here. Yeah, okay. Big W. Look. I think it was holding on to this. A nine. Okay. The number nine is written on the torn piece of paper. This seems to be the end of the code. Perhaps we can use this to open the, combo the combination lock. Okay. Yeah, so three, four, nine. So what's this seven for then? I guess we'll find that out later. A thick web blocks the path ahead. Okay, we can't go that way. Okay, um, three, four, nine. Let's go. Yes, perhaps we finally can get out of here. I'm seriously over all these spooky spiders. Whoa, 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 chill. Oh wait, actually our health is like good, so let's, let's, uh, we, we can kill this thing fast. Oh, there's two of them now, okay. Um. 
Yep, let's do that. Let's do that. And then let's do this. Uh, yeah. 34. And 48. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, we're stronger now. Oh, we're way stronger now. Let's go. Level 6. Nice. We got some potions. Hey, yo, Akka. Doesn't that... That looks kind of like Akka, right? A shrine to me? Oh, Club Gothka. This is getting way too creepy. I want to get out of here now. All this looks handmade. Someone put a lot of time and love into all this. Yep, looks great. I'm very flattered. <laughs> Are those photos? Holy shit, man. Look at this shit. Yo. Damn, and they even got photos of you just chilling around town. The, t the detail in this painting is remarkable. There are some photos of you, too. I don't remember any of those being taken. Has someone been following me? Hey, wait, there's a rusty key here. Quite an odd key. Perhaps we can use it to escape. Hmm, quite possibly. Wasn't there a gate near to where we fell into this place? You're right, let's go try this rusty key. Okay, we can get out of here. And yeah, you know what? It does look dope, though. Like, the painting... Whoever made it. Um, look, it's one of those spiders from the surface. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I'm plenty familiar with those. Don't bring it any closer. I'm going to hang on to it. Perhaps we could, uh, someone could tell us more about it. Okay, yeah, just, yeah, we'll take it, sure. Um, uh, I do want to level up more, right? So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this, hold on. Look, fireball, assault, wow, and we're at the next phase already, uh, okay, we're just gonna keep doing, can I block in this game, can I block, let me see, no, you can't block, it's just attack, and summon, and skills, okay, no problem, as long as we could take it out fast, like a music box OST. Those are always so cool. Alright, is there anything down here before we go up? Alright, let's get out of here. We made it. I can't believe we're alive and not spider chow. I need to find a way to get deeper into that cave. Maybe the people that have gone missing are down there. I think I might have an idea about that. Although I don't think it's safe to stick around here any any longer tonight. Meet me at my apartment tomorrow morning. I'll mark it on your map. Okay, let's get away from here. Go to sleep. Okay. Damn, so this lake, huh? Yeah, I, be I definitely believe in legends like this. It, it could happen. Anything's pretty much possible. Um, yeah, I, I, I believe it. Okay. It's time to head home after that terrifying ordeal. I should sleep and rest up before I meet Akka again. Okay, let's, let's go to sleep. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm still indecisive. Are we, are we gonna... Let me see how this looks. I wish it was skinnier, but this is still pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. We gonna change our outfit for tomorrow? Let's keep this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, this is kind of hard. 
Guys, I have no idea. I think I just messed it up. I was doing just fine. I was doing just fine. Hmm. Am I really changing the hair too? Come on. Hmm. Okay, we're going with this. We're going with this. Let's do it. Uh, what a wild night. Akka mentioned last night that he may have an idea about the missing people. I should go to Akka's apartment to speak with him. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, okay, he's over here. Akka's apartment. Okay. Yo, what, what, what kind of manga you got over here? Hold on. Okay, Death Note. And... Oh, what's this? Is this Overlord? Okay, I see him. Um... Okay, you got some figurines around here. Pizza boxes, bro. I don't know. Oh, okay, what books you got over here, man? Okay, I, f I feel him, man. I feel him. Let's do this. Hey, Club Gothica, thank you for coming over. It's nice we could finally talk whilst not being swarmed by creepy spiders. Definitely, I'm still amazed we got out of the beast. So tell me, Aka, why are you at the lake? This is a bit embarrassing, but I was looking into an urban legend to do with Atria Lake. I heard some people mention that a legend around the lake uh, could be involved with why people are disappearing. What is this legend? Well, the version I heard skipped the part about people going missing. I read online that if you visit the lake after midnight and stare into the water, your true love appears in the water's surface. So you were hoping to find your soulmate in the lake? No, 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 not, not at all. I was just there for purely scientific purposes. Yeah, that's what they all say, Aka. That's what they all scientific purpose. Come on, bro. Scientific? Well, you see, I love to investigate the unknown. UFOs, ghost sightings, you name it. And Aka will be there. Okay, that's... That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That's pretty cool. Uh, typically, whenever I go to investigate a sighting, it's just someone mistaking a cloud for a UFO or their boiler for a spirit. It doesn't usually end in being thrown into a den full of actual monsters, monstrous spiders. I haven't made the connection that the people going missing had anything to do with the legend at the lake. Um, but after seeing what was inside the cave, when I found you by the water, you seemed to be really fixated on something. Did you see something in the lake? If I'm honest, it's all kind of hazy. I don't remember seeing someone per se, but something was definitely there. I felt like something was calling out to me, making me feel like I need to go along with them. I have to ask, Club Gothica, what's made you so interested in all this? And more so, what's with the odd getup? The Max is very cool, but not something I usually see people walking around with. This may be hard to believe, but it's my job to find out what's causing these disappearances. My employer also demanded I wear this uniform. I need to find out more about these spiders and how to get through that web in the cave. And I may not be able to help with the web, but I know someone who can definitely help us identify the spiders. We found a red spider last night, didn't we? We can show it to the owner of Razor City Reptiles on the high street. Sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Okay. All right, yo, you got any games on here, man? All right, let me go, let me go. I mean, I'd rather be playing games than doing all this shit, bro. Hey, but if I could find missing people, man, I would do it. But I would probably have to game like for like an hour first. Um, but anyway, okay. Razor City Reptiles. Hey, yo, this dude looks so cool, man. Hey, yo. Welcome to Razor City Reptiles, my dudes. How can Vert be of service to you today? Hey, Vert, long, long time no see. Aka, my dude, so nice to see you again. 
I'm so sorry to hear about Mulder's passing. Yo, Mulder. Isn't that like the main character's name in X-Files? I do. I fucking love that show. So like seeing this name here. Legend. Legendary. All right. Anyway. Anyway. Um, a little dude's up in the big terrarium in the sky now, man. Mulder? My pet bearded dragon. He passed away a few months ago. Oh, I see. We need your help, Vert. We need to identify a certain species of spider. And I know there's no one out there that knows more about acrids than you. Ah, you flatter me, my dude. Sure thing. Do you have a photo or a description of the little guy? We could do you on... Uh, okay. We can do you one better. We have a specimen. Right. Right on, my dudes. Introduce me to your new little buddy. Whoa, say, where did you find this little fella? Oh, it was just around Atria Lake. The lake, you say, huh? You don't mean to mess... Uh, I don't mean to mess up your vibes, but this dude means some nasty mojo is afoot. Nasty mojo? I'm afraid this is officially out of my wheelhouse, but I ain't gonna leave you hanging, my dudes. You need to take this little fella to my little to my girl, Fellas. She owns Fellas's uh, bone. T uh, okay, okay. Let's do this, guys. Hold on. Botanica. Okay, Felice's. I think her name is Felice, by the way. Felice's Botanica down the street. It's typical. Uh, it's it's typically appointment only, but old Vert will put a good word in for you, as this is some serious business. Is this really that bad? I don't want to rustle your Jim rustle your Jimmies, bro. Come on, like he looks cool and shit, but don't ever say that again, please, man. Oh my. Okay, let's let's keep reading. <laughs> Any more than they already have been, my man. But Felice should be able to help you out. Thanks for your help, Bert. Not a problem, my dude. But promise me this: you'll both be careful, okay? Thanks, Bert. Okay, um, bro, just don't say that again, man. Come on. Like, the lingo is crazy. Yeah, Fox Mulder and the X-Files, yeah. I love that show so much. Okay, this is not the right place. Okay, this is it. Oh, okay. So she's like a fortune teller, tarot card reader, um, slash, like a magic shop where you can get like enchantments and stuff like that. Yo, look, there's a cat. Yo, is this a real one or is this like a stuffed animal cat? Okay, anyway, let's talk to Felice. Bonjour, mon cheris. You are... Uh, precisely on time. Hi, my name is Club Gothica and Akka. It's a it's a pleasure to finally meet you both. My name is Felice, but you know, but you knew that already. Uh, you have something interesting to show me, or so Vert has told me. None. Yes, we are hoping you could help us identify th this species of spider. Ah, very good. Just like just as expected, you two have been on quite the adventure already, have you not? I mean, if you want to put it like that, a door is opening for you both. A door very few dare to cross. You have had but a small peek, but tell me, are you prepared to go further? I'm not sure I understand. A great force is at work, Club Gothica, that has been waiting patiently for someone to take notice. Are you ready? I think so. Very well, Mon Cheris. It's the death we shall dive. Uh, this is no ordinary spider, but you guessed that already. None. That spider is the spawn of a very dangerous creature, a Jorogumo. But those are just legends. They don't actually exist. You have stepped foot in its home, yet you still deny its existence. You must open your eyes. 
What exactly is Juro Jumo? Uh, spider driven by lust and an insatiable appetite. Uh, Juro, Juro Jumo desires attention and admiration and will lure in, in anyone foolish enough to get close before devouring them. So when people are visiting Atria Lake in order to see their true love, they're getting attacked by this Juro Gumo very properly. People have been offering themselves up on a platter, no? You're saying the voice I heard calling to me at the lake was actually a huge monster spider? Ha! Huh, such fear, Mon Cherry. You are still here, are you not? Should you be caught by one, it can often be impossible to break away from their spell. You are very lucky, Akka, that Club Gothka was there to save you. Uh, when we were in the Jurogumo's nest, we found a shrine to Aka. Hmm, seems like this creature has made you the object of its desire, Aka. I mean, Akka, my bad. Um, perhaps it would be best to put a stop to it before it's too late. We tried to venture further in to see if there was anyone else trapped down there. But we stopped by some break unbreakable web. Ah, the webs of the Juro are not made of materials from this plane. Um, you need something blessed to cut through such a web. Blessed? Where would we find something blessed? Well, fortune smiles on you today. In service of you helping rid the city of such a dangerous being, I can give you a pair of blessed scissors free of charge. They will make a short work of the creature's webs. Thank you. Now go forth with a caution, uh, Mon Charis. The dens of such creatures aren't a part of our plane. Such places don't abide by our rules and can house ferocious and deadly fiends. You may find yourself able to perform fantastic feats one could only dream of there, but be careful the power usually comes with a price. Oh, and should you find anything of a particular nature on your travels, come and show me. I'm always interested in items of a supernatural nature. Thank you for all your help, Felice. Anytime. Come on, Club Gothica, let's head out. I can't believe how late it's gotten already. Yes, it is quite dark outside now. Okay, we got the scissors. Shout out to Felice, very cool character. All right, let's do this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's let's go to the shop, guys, and get some healing shit because I don't. We were getting hit hard, man, in the beginning. We were getting hit hard, so we gotta we gotta stock up. Close until morning. Fuck. Return to the lake at nightfall to enter the Juro's web. Wait a minute, maybe I could sleep till daytime, grab some items real quick, and then we could just sleep again until nighttime. I should wait until nightfall, okay. That's cool that they coded the game to let me do this real quick. And then we can just go back, that's good. Nice, the store is open. Um, we're gonna grab like Oh, we can also sell items too. Interesting. Damn, imagine I sell this by an accident. That would fucking suck. Um, okay. Let's just let's just Yep. We have seven of those, right? So let's just get seven of these. Let's get another one. Um and, uh, another one of that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I like this outfit better now. It, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. Um. Okay, let's do this. We're going back in. Right, we're back in the Juro Gumo's web. I never thought I'd be back here again, but we have to stop the Juro before it tries to kidnap me again. There's no time to lose. Let's use the blessed scissors and clear out the webs. 
Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. I didn't even see that. Okay. I bet you we could, like, two-hit this shit. Because we're mad strong right now. Okay, it wasn't a two-hit. It was a, it's a four-hit. Okay. I feel like we should farm. I feel like we should definitely farm. Just in, just in case, I mean. Definitely a smart thing to do. We want to be max level. Well, we're not going to get max level, but yeah, but... We want to be a high enough level to not fall to this boss, I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah. We're level 8? Okay. Nothing else over here. Let's kill the... Yep. Okay. Oh, wow. Items appear again, too. That's nice. Okay. Got a potion. I hate these things so much, but we're going to do it. Okay, second phase. Um, whoa, what's this? Religious relic? Do it. 167. But it takes down all my um, my MP though. Okay, uh, I'll keep that in mind. That's a good move. That's a good move. Okay, okay, let's go. Good shit. Okay, now it's a little bit harder to level. So that's a good thing. That means we're probably a high enough level to fight the boss here. Uh, despite the thickness of the web, the delicate scissors slice through them with no effort. As the last of the web falls to the floor, the blessed scissors crumble away in my hand. Well, that, take care that takes care of the web. Shame about the blessed scissors, though. Let's hope Felice wasn't expecting us to bring them back. Yeah, true. Okay, so we got another combination. Wait, there was a seven on a TV over here, right? Seven. What's over here? Two. Okay, seven to two. Another gate, really? Wait, seven two, seven two. I gotta remember this. Seven two. Can we run past this? Okay. Um. Let's do this. Oh shit! It's the big spider. I didn't even see him. Okay, let's do that on him. He should be dead soon, since we did that big attack. Um, I'm gonna do this to the big spider. Nice. Let's keep going. Okay. Good shit. We're good. Yo, the battle music is so dope. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. What the fuck? Look at this place. An icy chill whistles uh, its way through the nest. Yeah, it's an, it's the awful uh, stench it seems to carry with it that hits us first. Neither of us had smelled anything like this before, but we both would mainly know what it was. Club Gothica, don't tell me that. Are those all the people that have gone missing? All of them fell victim to the Juro. This must have been going on for months. Look at all these drawings. It's like it's been madly obsessed with anyone who's visited the lake. We need to move fast. We can't let this monster hurt anyone else. Right. Hopefully we won't end up like these guys. It looks like this one might have something in their hands. Bro, he just said it looks like months. This looks like years, man. Look at this shit. Holy shit, man. Wow. This one has something in his hands, you said? Yeah, look at this. 
I think there's something in their hand. Another key, perhaps. We can use this to get through the final door. Okay. This is messed up, man. Okay, 725. 725. Okay, so the key is for the boss fight, I'm guessing. And then this other room is probably something... Maybe a important item or something. Uh, 725, 725. So let's see if this works. 725. Um, 725. Okay. What's over here? Okay, we got an item. We got a big ass spider. Okay, we'll take it out real quick. I hope this is not where the room, um, where the boss is. I don't think so. I think they just told me that it was not that. Okay. I don't want to use up all my health shit on this. I hope I don't get hit a lot. I'm just taking out the small fuckers first. Damn. Okay. That sucks. Okay. Let's do this on you. Don't hit me again. Okay, good. Nice. Can we level up, please? Yes. Okay. Level 11 is good. Um. Okay. Huh. There's a note attached to the corpse. I tried. I really tried to stop it, but I couldn't. Instead, I've ended up trapped down here like all the others. If by any chance anyone else ends up down here and finds this note, take this item and kill that wretched beast. Love is a fire, one that can easily consume everything in its sight. Yo, that is cool. That's a cool quote right there. Um, this is flames of heart. I wonder what it means. Love is fire. Okay, what does this do? A beautiful glass heart housing a flickering flame. Okay, we could use that on the boss, I'm guessing. Okay. As the gate slides open, an intense aura emits from the corridor ahead. I get a dreadful feeling about what's down there. Have we explored everything else? I think we should be careful and make sure we're 100% ready. Uh, what might run into... Okay. We're ready. We're ready. Ooh, look at that. It's like some uh, love spell type of like witchcraft kind of shit going on. With the pins and shit. It's sketchy. Yeah, Akka, you're kind of screwed, buddy. You're kind of screwed. Um, and there's an Akka doll right there. Look at that. Oh, is it, it's a chick. It's a it's a girl spider. It's not like a ugly spider like before. It's like a it's like a cool looking. Well, she even got the bed down here for you, Aka, bro. Make yourself at home, honestly. Look at this. Wow. Okay, let's talk to her. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. Not yet, anyway. Are you the Juro that's been attacking people at the lake? The one that's hurt all those people? They hurt me first. I just want us all to be friends. That's not wrong, is it? We can all just be one big happy family. I'm sorry. Let's start this again. My name is Nana. I'm so glad you both finally came to see me. I've especially been wanting to meet you, Akka, for such a long time. You, you know my name? Of course I do. You've been coming to the lake to visit for so long now. I've waited so patiently for you. I wasn't expecting you to bring a friend with you, but that's fine. The more friends, the better, right? Hey, yo, what does she mean by that, guys? 
What does she mean by the more? Okay. Um, Nana, you can't keep doing this. You've tricked all these innocent people. Tricked? Innocent? Wasn't it them who came looking for me? Wasn't it them who said they'd they'd see their true love in the lake? All of them said they loved me. Me. It's not my fault they're all nasty liars. Liars? Yes, liars. Every last one of them. You all come looking for your true love, but whenever we finally meet, you scream and run away. I tried so hard to make it work. I've been trying for so long, but all you just don't seem to understand. We are meant to be together forever. Club Gothica, this Juro, they're insane. Bro, don't say that right in front of her, bro. She's gonna fucking off you, man. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Akka don't fucking care, man. He does not give a fuck. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to get through to them. But you're different, Akka. <laughs> you came and found me. I was right about you. You must truly love me. I... I... And I promise it won't end up like the others this time. We can all be happy down here, together, you and me. Your friend can even stay as well, and I won't hurt you. I'll try not to hurt you. It just gets so hard sometimes. Nana, enough. We can't let this go on any longer. I, un I understand you're upset, and you've been hurt, but you've killed innocent people. So you're just like them too? Are you really going to stand between me and my beloved? Tell them, Akka. Tell them how, we're mu how much we're meant to be together. How much you love me. Yo, chat, what would you do, man? <laughs> what would you do, man? I don't know. I don't love you, Nana. <laughs> okay, nice and direct, Akka. I, I, I feel you. Uh, I was just looking into the legend at the lake, and I never meant for... What? What? You, you don't love me? Oh, God. Look at the transformation, man. No, no, this isn't right. You're lying. You're lying. Tell me you're lying. You have to love me. You have to. Nana, this really needs to stop. No, 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 no. She promised me it wouldn't be like this. She promised me it would be different. Nana, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Enough. You can't, uh, if I can't have you, no one can. Oh, God. So she's really yonder. Yandere. Um, <clears throat> very yandere chick. Okay. All right. Yo, peep to her kicks, though. Like, the outfit's hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard. Okay, okay. Let, let me not get distracted. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Here, here. Hold that. Okay, okay, we can't, we can't do anything now. Oh no, the music, man, it's already stuck in my head. Um, fireball, fireball. Yep. Just stop it. What the fuck? Stop it. All I ever did was love you. Holy shit. Okay. 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 Um. Yep. Let's do that. You guys gotta admit, she looks cool as shit, though. She like she does look cool. Um, we're gonna heal up. I feel like that's uh appropriate action to do right so let's do that bro just keep going just keep going we need to build up our MP right now oh god just keep going she can't she can't kill me right with the holy fuck okay heal up and then I'm, we're gonna heal up again okay fireball 
Hell yeah. Holy shit. You've broken my heart, Akka. I'll tear you both to pieces for what you've done to me. Okay. Okay. Alright. Hold on. Hold on. Um, first aid. Okay. Oh, the big fucking spider in the background? You're kidding. Okay. Focus on that fucker. Oh no, we need to focus on her. She's gonna fucking kill us. Okay, hold on. Wait, the flames of heart. Bro, use that shit. Yep, use it on her. Ooh, 486 damage. That's actually really good. Okay, let's heal up again. We're gonna need to heal up. She's gonna fucking one-hit us. Holy shit. Okay. And Akka is down. Oh, no, no, no. Not that, not that. Yes, this is it. Akka, you gotta get the fuck up, man. Hold on, we, we can't... Kill this big-ass spider over here. Okay, good. Uh, April, she, she's crazy. Yeah, she definitely is crazy. I'm, there's no doubt about that. There is no doubt about that. Um, damn, man. She is eating up my health, man. Okay, take one of those. Well, we're just gonna sit here healing the whole time. Heal up. Let's heal up again. I feel like she's almost dead, right? Because we're at her third, like, form. Um, let's keep going. Let's just keep attacking her. Just keep attacking her. Shit. Bro, we cannot die on our first boss. We cannot die, guys. She's hitting hard as shit. Fireball. Yes. Yes, the salt. Let's go. Ooh, leveled up twice. Let's go. Sobbing. Do you really hate me this much? How will you end it then? Exercise Nana, banish Nana. Um, so... I think the boss lady, right, from the beginning of the game, she was like, yo, whatever you do, um, take care of whatever, like, I'm hunting, and permanently, like, get rid of it permanently, right? So, I think banishing would be, or is it exercise? No, banish is, like, oh, okay, send me back to hell or banish me forever. I didn't even read that over there, okay. Um, so exercising is sending her back to hell and then banished forever. Mm, we're gonna... Shit, dude. I feel sorry for her, honestly. I do feel sorry. Let's banish her. Let's banish her. No one will ever love you like I did. We did it. We're alive. We actually did it. We didn't get eaten. Hold on a sec. Nana was holding on to something. I pick up a damp handmade doll, which has a stretching, wow, a striking resemblance to myself. This looks like the same type of doll of me at the shrine. Perhaps Nana was going to move on to you after they were done with me. Let's not dwell on that. Well, I've about had it with this weird, creepy dungeon and spiders. Let's get out of here. I think the doorway opened up nearby. Maybe we can escape that way. Wow, it really is a doll of me. Damn, she was, she was gonna come for me next. Okay. Nothing else in here? You know, Akka, take the doll. The doll is, is, is kinda cool, I'm not gonna lie. Just put that in your room, you know, near the manga collection, and you're good to go. Out of breath. Um, is it over? Are we actually free? Hey, at least we made it out in one piece. I guess we did, just about. Thank you for all the help, Akka. I really don't think I could have done all that without you. Hey, I should be thanking you, Club Gothica. Without you, I'd tread to even think about what would have happened to me. Um, you saved my life. 
think you saved my skin too. I'm just sad we couldn't do anything for the others. We stopped Nana so no one else could fall in their trap. You did the best you could, Club Gothica. I guess you're right. I should report this back to the uh, to my boss now. Although I'm not sure how she'll feel when I tell her a lub-obsessed monster spider was behind it all. I definitely don't envy you on that one. But it does make me wonder, what did Nana mean when they said she promised me it wouldn't be like this? It almost sounds like someone put Nana up, up to all this. The girl in the fox, Max. Should I even ask who that is? According to Nell, the Shokan Corp, she's the mastermind behind all this. But how or why, I have no idea. I have an awful feeling things are only going to get stranger. It's spooky. I think it's about time we head home. I really not, uh, I really rather not run into anything else monstrous tonight. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Okay, well, that was interesting. Um, and so, the banishing, and what was the other option? See, I have a bad memory. I can't even... Banishing? Wait, let me see if I can remember this. Banishing. Exercise. Yes. Okay, okay. Banishing, exercise. Okay. Um, so, I think banishing, if we just send her back to hell, there's a chance she can come back. Right? So, if we... If we banish her instead of exercising, she won't be able to come back at all. So I think we did the right decision. I'm pretty sure. I'm 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 pretty sure. Okay, anything new on the computer? Current headlines. Okay, no, it's the same thing. Okay, here's an L. Hello, Club Gothica. Wait, what are you doing here in my computer? We have eyes everywhere, Club Gothica. I've, oh, I'm always watching over you. That being said, I must say, well done on completing your first task. You've proven yourself quite worthy of us. Uh, you could have at least warned me about what I might run into. Oh, come on now, Club Gothica. One should always expect the unexpected. Besides, you are still with us, so what is there to be upset about? Nana had hurt so many people. There were so many down there. Myself and Akka almost ended up just like them. An unfortunate side effect, but casualties are to be expected. What's important is that the Juro has been taken care of. I commend you on your lack of mercy, and that the wretched creature wasn't able to pull at your heartstrings. Okay, so yeah, I think we we definitely did the right thing by uh, banishing her, for sure, with that dialogue right there. Then that creature should now, uh, eh, okay, that creature shall never be a blight on our beautiful city again. So, Club Kothika, did you learn anything of interest during your investigation? It seems very likely that the girl in the Fox Max put Nana up to it, or at least set them loose at the lake. Yes, we had feared as much. Despite our efforts, it appears the girl in the uh, Fox Max always happens to be a step ahead of us. But no matter, in due time we shall catch up. As you have proven yourself diligently, I have a second task for you. A young woman in the city named Midori has received a strange anonymous letter. I would like you to speak with her and find out who is behind it. Considering what I've just been through, this seems a little ordinary. Uh, that is neither here or there. Please visit her apartment and speak with her. And Club Gothica, once again, should you find who or what is behind this, I expect it to be dealt with in a permanent matter. A manner. Okay, so we did do the right thing, man. We're, we're pretty fresh, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Uh, the heart's twisted lesson. Okay. And nonsense. We're on chapter two, guys. Uh, I've been given the address to Midori's apartment. I'll check it out. Okay. Uh, let me read chat real quick. A true yandere. Yeah, for real. Uh, so sad, but you had to banish her. Uh, take the doll. Yeah, right? I would have took the doll, honestly. 
I wouldn't have left it down there. If say that's like some voodoo shit, at least you have it, right? And then no one else could like find it randomly and uh and be weird about it. So <laughs> yeah. Um anyway guys, I gotta go eat. We just had a two hour stream. I'll be back. We're actually gonna play this again Saturday. And probably again Sunday. I kinda wanna just beat this game. This game is really fucking cool. There's a lot of reading, and I fucking hate that, but hey, the game's cool as shit. Um and yeah, uh I wanna see if we could raid anyone right now. Hold on guys, if you'll stick with me. Uh okay, we have two people. I wanna I wanna raid Nebride again. And then Saturday. If uh, Excellent is streaming still, we're going to raid her too. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Yo, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe to join the club. You guys already know the drill. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Yo, Kick, if you guys will stay with me real quick, we're going we're gonna to do some raiding. So I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you.